All right, public service announcement. Tax day less than two weeks away now. So this morning in our series On the Money, we're going to talk about protecting yourself from scams. Last year, the IRS received nearly 300,000 complaints of identity theft. That's the, that's the second most in history. Mm. So we brought in CNBC senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson to tell us what we need to know while we finish our filing so we don't get got, as I said. Absolutely, absolutely. This is the time everyone's in the crunch time. Yeah. You have to be extra vigilant. So, I mean, how do we keep con artists, potential scammers out there, how do we keep them from, from stealing our money and how do we spot them? One of the biggest things that you have to look out for are people at, saying that they're going to save you big money, get you a big refund, yeah. or reduce your tax bill significantly. And they're doing this through an unsecured site where you've got, or you've gotten an email that's fake or a text message you see it on social media, and you answer it. Mm -hmm. They've then stolen your personal information, your financial information. They could either file a tax return on your behalf and take that refund, wow. or just have your money, steal it, and, and use it for something else. What about these fake tax assistance programs that I've, I've heard about and read about? Well, that's one of the ways that they work. When what you need to do to avoid them is to make sure that you are looking at um, someone who is a legitimate tax preparer who is doing your returns. And also, if they say that they can save you money by doing it on the IRS website, mm -hmm. know that you can do it yourself. You can sign up your own on your own for an online account. Okay. There we go. All right. Yes. That's... The ghost the ghost tax preparer, let me talk, tell you about that because that is a significant scam that a lot of people are falling prey to. And that is somebody that doesn't really exist who's doing your tax return. They exist because you've contacted them, but they don't oh, exist yeah. on the IRS directory as a legitimate preparer. So you okay. want to make sure that you ask for their tax ID number, that you make sure that you go to the preparer directory on the IRS website on rs.gov, and also always review your tax return before signing it. Don't just sign it and submit it because if someone has prepared your return, yeah. they need to sign it and have their tax ID number on there. If they don't do that, that is not a legitimate return. You're still on the hook, though, for anything that's on that return that you've submitted. Mr. Roker. So what about this scam where, where people, they've got their taxes, they've done their taxes, they're afraid they owe money, and there are scammers who, who prey on that. There are a lot of different types of payment plans that the IRS offers, and offering compromise is one of them. Mm -hmm. But there are people who are saying, we can get you this, and we'll, you have to pay pennies on the dollar. You're definitely going to qualify. It takes a lot to qualify for that. Mm -hmm. You have to have made sure that you know the eligibility requirements. Yeah. You make sure you filed your taxes. You've paid estimated taxes in order to qualify. And if you don't, if you are, are able to pay something, uh -huh. an installment agreement is probably what the IRS is going to suggest yeah. rather than an offer and compromise. So, again, know that the IRS wants to get your money, wants to work uh -huh. with you to get your money. But the idea that you only have to pay pennies on the dollar in your uh -huh. tax bill probably a big red flag. And, and you can do that yourself without being charged when you do that through Absolutely. the IRS. Absolutely. You can do it through the IRS. They Now, when they do an installment plan, depending on how they do it, you may have a small fee, but it's going to be nothing like mm -hmm. what you would get from okay. a bogus preparer. So when it comes to charities, I know all year long we have to be worried about that. But then if yes. you did contribute to but not a real charity, you can't write that off on your taxes. Exactly. That's why it's so important to go to the IRS website. Make sure that it's a tax-exempt organization that you've contributed to. And then you also want to make sure that you itemize your deduction. So many people take the standard deduction these days. You may not qualify for a charitable deduction. And if you don't qual if you don't itemize, you definitely won't qualify. Mm -hmm. So, again, great to give to charity. Make sure that it's a reputable one. Make sure you check them out on the IRS website before you give if you can. But you have to itemize. Definitely have to itemize to get that deduction. Okay. Great. Let's talk about sure. small for small business owners. I have to tell you, I don't know about this employee retention credit scan or credit. Yeah. Right. So the employee retention credit, the IRC, is something that a lot of folks were trying to get small business owners if they had employees. What's the gist during of the, the it, it is a credit that you're able that you were able to get part of the pandemic relief. Okay. And and so some people are still hearing from companies saying that they can get this for you. Again, oh, they're very strict. I have strict. a family member that fell for this. Yes. Not fell. That makes me sound like they, but it but, seemed but legitimate. Seemed legitimate. It seemed I'm not legitimate. saying Chanel. <laughs> probably if, they got, know. if they got the check, Chanel, they <laughs> need to return it. If they can still have that check, oh, if they've no, already cashed that it's check, been, it's been a if problem. they've already cashed that check, then they need to contact the IRS because oh. if it's not legitimate, they will find them. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Sharon, good tips. Always. Always. Thanks as yeah, always. Thank you, Sharon. By the way, for more on how you can avoid tax scams, you know where to go, today.com. That's right. Chanel's relative, give uh, Sharon a call. <laughs>
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.